Hey Internet, it's Colorful Artie and welcome back to Donkey Kong Country Free. May God bless you wherever you are. So today we're starting the third, or if you so choose, fourth world of the game, Cotton Top Cove. This is the water world. Well, one of them. So let's start by going to Blue's Beach Hut. <laughs> Hello there, Dixie. How are you? My name's Blue. Pleased to meet you. What's that red circle on the calendar? Oh, <sighs> it's nothing of importance. Aw, oh, poor Blue. Uh, I'm afraid you're a little early for the party, Dixie. That's if anybody bothers to come at all. What's that red circle on the calendar? Oh, uh, it's nothing of importance. <laughs> He's so sad! I'm so, I feel bad for him. Wait, what the heck? Okay. Well, this can sometimes happen. My controller was acting up, sorry, so let's unplug, replug back in. And there we go! First up, if we press A here, actually we don't have to press A there, we get a secret cave, Bounty Bay. Boom! Banana bird! We already have eight of them. Sweet! Anyways, let's start the f actual- well, we should explore around a little bit more. No secret cave there? Alright. It would be weird if two secret caves were right next to each other. Anyways, we're starting the first level, Baza's Blockade. And underwater levels are back. And look at that background! So the gimmick of this level, these are Baza's. They're like little barracudas that are infinitely spawning, so you need to find a way to get past them. And the underwater music is phenomenal in this game. DK Country does a great job with fantastic underwater music. So you can get some nice prizes if you want. Not necessary, though. Seriously, like, the graphics are just gorgeous. It's hard to believe this is a Game Boy Advance game. Alright, so these guys are moving fast, but if you can duck through them... We get a bonus barrel! Find the coin! So here we just have to navigate through the bazas. Fortunately, if you fail, it's not a huge deal because, well, you're about to find out why. Yeah, it literally puts you out right next to the bonus barrel. And thankfully, unlike the Super Nintendo game, these are not just you get one try. This one is tricky, because it's hard to avoid the bazas and keep moving forward. Oh, we can just swim above them. Avoid the lurchins, of course. Badam. You also might be wondering, how can we possibly kill the DK coin guy on this level? Because we're underwater, we can't use barrels. Well, it's kind of interesting. We'll see that in a bit. Boom. Also, for some reason, Donkey Kong and his family have always had phenomenal underwater breathing powers. Like, the Kong family has gills, apparently. Don't get me wrong, I'm happy for that. I hate having to collect air bubbles underwater in video games. Whoop! It can be annoying when you can't see the bottom of the screen. There we go. Once again, you can hold up to swim upwards, and then you hold down in order to float down more quickly. The Super NES underwater music is great as well. Very atmospheric. You know, I feel like I'm repeating myself where it's like, the Super NES version of the music is good too. Very atmospheric. Alright, what we want to do is duck back here. Sorry, Kitty Calm, you are a worthy sacrifice. Because we need this bonus barrel. Bash the baddies! So guess what? We're on guard because there's no way to bash baddies underwater without him. And it may seem like he's invincible, but it, uh, enemies can't still hurt on guard if they hit his back like that. But we get to become on guard after this, so that's nice. And on guard turns back into himself. 
Why did I want to use a GameCube controller again? Oh yeah, because it's the best controller ever. Seriously, the GameCube controller is like the perfect controller. Like pretty much every controller that came after it copied it. Except, ironically, Nintendo's new controllers. With On Guard, we can go down here and turn into On Guard. Okay, we're getting some serious On Guard inception going on here. Yay! Ideally, you want to finish this stage with both columns alive, or just any underwater stage. Oh, thank you for giving me the G. K O N G. So yeah, at the end of the underwater level, you go to this cave, and sometimes you will need both columns in order to reach the coin, who's over here. Take that. Level complete! 100%. Next level is Rocket Barrel Ride. This introduces the waterfall levels. Which are... They're definitely interesting and in concept. I'm not a huge fan of them. So these guys are the Fat Kremlings. Dixie Kong cannot kill them by jumping on their heads, but Kitty Kong can. And you can't kill them by rolling into them. These are rocket barrels. Hop in, they'll fly upwards, then launch you out. So the main gimmick of the waterfall levels is... There are... There's terrain in front of waterfalls, and there's terrain behind waterfalls. And, yeah. I did not think I would die if I did that. But that just shows off how the levels are structured. This is, this is also, uh, the waterfall levels are some of the few levels in the game where I'm like, I'm not really a fan of the music in either version. It's very peaceful, but I mean, I'm just not a huge fan. Bear coin. I actually did not realize that was there. Nice little prize. Yeah, yeah, I know. Rocket barrels. This is also definitely a course to utilize Dixie Cone's uh, hover ability. Nope. I'm going behind. There's invisible prizes everywhere in this game. And of course, it's not a level without buzzers. The whole Buzzer light you to the rescue. This seems like a pretty simple level in concept. However, the waterfall levels tend to get very tricky later on. So don't get used to this. Whoop! Hi! Thank you, Barrel Coin! And thank you, uh, Barrel Cannons. So the whole, like, you can move behind the waterfalls and in front of the waterfalls to get to different terrain things is pretty cool in concept. I'm not a huge fan of it in like actual in the actual practice. We can jump on these bugs to get ourselves a bonus barrel. It's easy to miss that first bug since he kind of blends in with the background there. Well, this seems like a rather simple game. That bonus victory theme is just so catchy. Wonderful. So yeah, we couldn't jump into that behind the waterfall. Do pay attention where things are relative to the waterfall in the background. Blip! And yep, parry the parallel birds back to give us the end. Alright. Whoosh! Remember, parry follows all of your movements, so having Dixie Kong here is very nice. So if Dixie Kong hovers, so does parry. Darn it! Parry the parallel.
Crawl bird. Whoa, what the heck? Oh, yeah. That's the problem. If you fall behind the waterfall, you can sometimes fall like across like the entire level and have to climb all the way back up again. Ah, humbug. That's okay. A parry, I think, only gives you like another blue balloon. She doesn't give you anything like crucial. Well, at least this part will be made easier without Perry. Okay. It's also hard to determine which way is the correct way to go. Yay! I have more than half the amount of lives you can have in the game! Of course, that's not gonna last, because this game's really hard. K-O-N-G Kong! Steel Keg! No! Oh, great. Stupid Kitty Kong's crying. This would not happen if we had Donkey Kong in the game. Am well, I the only one who thinks it's kind of weird? It's like, oh, it's Donkey Kong Country. It's like, oh, you don't play as Donkey Kong. Like, that was weird in the second one. I do want to show off what happens when you take... Never mind, Perry died immediately, and I know it's my fault because I controlled him pro improperly, but he's still annoying. No one can deny Perry's annoying. Okay. K-O-N-G Kong. Oh, I see, I see. So what we're going to do here is throw it upwards, then rock it over here, turn him around, bam! That's actually a pretty cool one. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh no! I missed a bonus barrel, clearly. These waterfall levels do hide the bonus barrels quite well. Mainly because it's like, which way is the way I'm supposed to go and which way is the bonus way? So it's actually a little annoying. I will collect as many bear coins as I can, though. That's what you're supposed to do. Oh, I want to say this level might, like, the bonus barrel might be like, oh, you have to fall down the course, like, into a bonus barrel. Couldn't you figure that out for yourself? No? Alright. Now, as Perry does give the bonus barrel as a reward. So that was where the first one was.
Boo! Boo! Why would you do this? Now I have to take Perry all the way back up. Perry's not supposed to be down here. Sure enough! Knew that was gonna happen. Just a feeling I had. Ouch! Okay, I know... Why is this bonus barrel so elusive? Is it seriously a case of fall down the waterfall at a random part? That would be really dumb. At least put some bananas somewhere to let you know that's what they're expecting you. Alright, step one, I really, really want to get Perry to the end. Just to see what the prize is. And this is in this is, if memory serves, one of the less annoying levels to take Perry through. Perry the Parallel Bird! Yeah, you just get a blue balloon. Oh, pfft. wow! That was just pure stupidity on my part for not getting that! Thankfully, we've got, we've got quite a bit of time for this level, because we're going to have to launch ourselves out of the rocket barrels a few times to get all the stars. Uh, kaboom! I am so sorry for that, everybody. <laughs> that was terrible. I can speed up most of that, though. I suppose I could have gotten the G just to get another one up, but oh well. No, Cranky, we're not going to your dojo. We're going to Creeping Clasps. That's right, it's another one of these levels. So, Snap Jaws back on this level. So that can be annoying because there is stuff underwater that you do need to get. These are clasps. They are explosive, explosive barrels that have enemies in them that crawl on these ropes. And first bonus barrel is pretty easy to find. So this teaches you how to drop down from ropes. Press A while holding down on a rope and you will drop down. You will need to know this for future levels. And just like that, another bonus level complete. Yeah, snap jaw, go away. Also, do always keep a lookout for broken boards. Oh! Hi! Also, Dixie Collins ponytail twirl is amazing. Seriously, the music is so good in this. Yeah, sometimes the clasps will move faster than normal, sometimes they won't start moving until you actually jump on the same rope as them. So, bonus barrel here! Whoop! Ha <laughs> ha! You got the moves! You can jump in midair. And Dixie Cone's hair for the win! That one can be annoying if you just have Kitty Cone. That was close. The jump was delayed there. That's a tough one, too. K.O. Wedge Cone out! Why did we bring a toddler on this adventure? It sounds like a terrible idea. Why couldn't we have had Funky Kong as our partner? Or Donkey Kong? <laughs> I mean, no offense. Actually, yeah, I kind of mean offense, kitty. Goodbye. Goodbye. 
This guy's coming out of nowhere! Well, if memory serves, we need both cones to get the DK coin at the end anyways, so... Haboosh! This time we can use Dixie Cone's hair to our advantage! Still not sure if Dixie Cone is faster than Kitty Cone or not. Oh boy! Oh no no no! No Snapjaw! Don't eat me! D ate me. That was not very nice of you, Snapjaw. Okay, that part at the end right there is kind of evil. I forgot how hard this level was. I expected this to just be an easy breezy level. No such luck here! Gotta love that Kremlin sound effect. Brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr